have the um, the MacBook Air i7 2012 11 inch running in clamp shape shape uh, clamp shape mode, and the idea here was to see uh, what was the maximum temperature I can uh, get the CPU to reach. But if you notice, the CPU is <coughs> is uh, 73 degrees and the RPMs are 6500 and <clears throat> I was really expecting to see something like 92 or 105 or maybe 110 and interestingly I didn't and what I'm doing is I'm actually encoding a handbrake you know and I'm pushing the uh, the CPU here see the four CPUs are 100% are and I'm pushing the CPUs but yet uh, I found it very surprising that the average frame rate, if you go down here, the average frame rate is 149 frames per second. And this is on already, already on step 2. So in step 2 I'm doing 149 or 150 frames per second. And this, comp this um, only means, if you recall in the previous videos, the frames per second on the i7 was... 250 frames per second with the same exact video. This is the same exact video on desktop and uh, on the SSD. I'm just using the uh, the uh, Retina, um, sorry, the uh, iMac 25, 27 inch as a monitor. And uh, in my experience, using the monitor has, has very little or no resource uh, impacts on the CPU. So this leads me to believe that because of the um, because of the lack of cooling that the that the uh, MacBook Air has in this form, in this in this in this uh, clamp shape mode, the CPU has no choice but to lower the power of the CPU, like they say that they say the uh, the gigahertz or whatever, to allow for the CPU to operate within the re recommended temperature range. Basically. A long story short, um, here I have an iMac, sorry, a MacBook Air i7 operating less than an i than a MacBook Air i5. If you recall, the i5 was was doing 200 frames per second, and the i7 was doing 250 frames per second in the open mode, right? Just sitting on top of a table. But here, in the clamshape mode, the i7 seems to only be able to keep up with uh, at the rate of 150 frames per second. So this is bad news, right? Because, because basically, the operating system and the CPU throttle down for heat reasons. So you, in theory, if you really push the uh, limits of your machine in, in a heated environment, you may be wasting money because at the end of the day, is operating no more than the i5 or even less than the i5 and uh, and you're not really taking advantage of your money however if you are operating in a cool environment let me go back to the metrics here if you are operating in a cool environment the CPU does seem to have a 20 per, a 25 percent increase in performance from the i5 and um, based on the previous videos you saw so this is just an interesting observation that I made uh, just now.